What is up you guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Armand. If you're new to this channel, I'm a Toronto-based deep and progressive house DJ and producer. And this YouTube channel is full of videos and tutorial lessons aimed at you beginner and intermediate level DJs to learn how to get started DJing and how to improve your skills up to the next level. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different because I know a lot of you are in the market shopping for your first piece of gear or DJ equipment. So we're going to do another product review. And today I've got the brand new Tractor Control S3 from Native Instruments. Brand new in the box, never opened. So we're going to have a look at that. Walk through the, we'll take, take a look inside the box, see what it comes with. Take a look at the key features and then after that I've got a special little treat for you with this as well. So let's get the box opened up and see what this thing looks like. All right, let's see what comes in the box. Probably manual or oh, stickers, some cool tractor control stickers, safety info, registration for tractor setup, Guessing this will be your USB. Oh, and power supply. That's interesting. I see, they've given you European plugs. I don't know where that is, maybe Asia. That's actually very smart. North America. And I have no idea where that one's from either. So I guess those just click right into the adapter and you can play with this worldwide. Pretty smart. This will be your USB cable. Pretty standard. And now for the main event. There she is, oops, a little bit of rippage. All right. The plastic is pretty nice, it's like a matte finish. Crossfader feels smooth. Faders are nice and actually tight, which is the way I like them. They're not too loose, they're not gonna, you're not gonna bump it and automatically kill your vol volume level to zero while you're playing. Pads have a nice little click to them, and yes, the EQs and the filters have a little notch at the 12 o'clock position so you can easily feel for it. I like that. And lastly, the jog wheels seem pretty smooth. Overall, very nice. Alright guys, as promised, another little treat for you in this video. Sitting with me is Peter Damien. He is a product specialist with Native Instruments. Native Instruments, of course, manufactures the Tractor S3 product and also is the founder and creator of the Tractor software. Uh, pretty much the most popular legendary DJ software that there is so far. And um, Peter is also a Toronto-based DJ and producer, more in the classic house uh, type of sound. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Please check him out, give him a follow on SoundCloud. You can find his tracks on bport.com as well. I must say, Peter, your tracks are sounding mint these days. Thank you, man. All right, and so what can you tell us about the new S3? Yeah, so the S3 is the little brother to the S4. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. Now we are on the uh, Mark III edition of controllers. So okay. there's some updates that I think a lot of uh, the DJ community uh, wanted. And that and that tractor heard and uh, answered with so as you can see it's a four deck controller uh, it has the new five and a half inch jog wheels uh, industry standard club layout so uh, the way the mark twos were it was mirrored before now you can see that the uh, cue and play are at the bottom uh, left. Right, uh, you used to have the pitch fader on this side. Yeah, and, and then here. the opposite side as well. So but, yeah, now, now right. everything is uh, identical versus mirrored. Right. Uh, so I'll work from the top down. So up here we have our browser encoder, so you can 
ch change your view. You can preview tracks. You can favorite tracks or add to preparation. Okay. Uh, and then load your tracks up here. Uh, then working down, we have your gain knobs, then your industry standard three band EQ. Uh, and then right now you have the uh, new effects section, your one knob effects section, which are all assignable effects. So you can see as it changes color as well as your filter. So you right. can actually individually select different effects. That's pretty cool. And color code them yourself. Yeah, exactly. Right. So you can change whatever effect you'd like within the tracker okay. software. That's and then, brand new for the S3. Uh, S3, S4, uh, and S2. You don't get the filter button on the S2, and it's okay. only a two-deck uh, controller. Right. But uh, same general functionality and same premise when it comes to the uh, mixer effects. Okay. Uh, you have your nice long uh, faders for each track, A, B, C, and D. Uh, you have your pitch fader here, your key lock and sync functionality buttons, so that uh, that's easily accessible. Uh, on the left side, you'll be able to switch your deck, so deck A and deck B will always be blue, and then deck C and deck D will change to yellow. Right. Uh, and you'll be able to see that and clearly see if you're on deck A, B, or C, and D, okay. which helps in uh, in low light environments and uh, in any general collab setting. Uh, All right. And then at the bottom you have your uh, cue, sample, and uh, and loop functions. Yep. So you can uh, store uh, eight uh, cue, hot cues, you know, uh, samples if you're using remix decks right. or if you're using uh, stems. Yep, uh, you trigger them all from these pads. Yeah, exactly. You can, okay. use, you can use those pads. They're all RGB and they're, they change colors, so green would be uh, loop and then blue are your hot cues. Right. Uh, and then up here at the top left, you have your flux, or some people will call it slip mode, uh, and then your reverse functionality as well. Okay. And uh, keeping in mind that a lot of the viewers on this YouTube channel are beginner and intermediate level DJs, some are shopping for their first piece of gear. However, a lot of them also are thinking long term, they might get a little bit more serious and start playing in nightclubs too. Um, would you say this is a good first uh, controller for someone who's who's learning but maybe wants to segue into getting a bit more serious as well? Yeah, absolutely. I think that this controller, uh, you know, you have your four deck functionality. Maybe four decks might be a little bit, uh, you know, cumbersome for uh, somebody to get into right off the bat. But, you know, just stick to deck A and B. Uh, right, and you have room to grow. Yeah, and, and the fact that it's indu uh, industry uh, standard layout. So right. what, if you move from this controller, let's say to, you know, uh, a CDJ setup, or, you know, uh, you decide to move on to vinyl, and yeah. like, you know, you'll have a general sense of where everything is. Right. And, you know, your motor uh, motor memory might <laughs> sort of kick yeah. in a little bit better. Yeah. But as far as, uh, as moving on to playing in clubs, yeah, this is a completely, uh, a completely functional four deck mixer and controller uh, that you can really take your performance up to the next level, especially with Tractor 3 being, you know, being a DJ software that uh, allows for a lot more creativity when it right. comes to looping, uh, 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 clip launching, uh, sampling, and uh, when it comes to your inputs, you actually have to uh, a, a line in and a mic uh, input that you can see up here. Right, so you so can you, sing along. Yeah, this exactly. Or... You can you can actually create so, somewhat of a live setup right, uh, right. with with Tractor, and uh, yeah, it, there's a lot of room to grow as well as the iOS functionality. So Tractor DJ Two is an iOS. Uh, app okay. that you can actually use with this controller. So you can plug your iP iPad in uh -huh. with Tractor DJ2 and take this on the go and uh, and play, you know, on a beach, right. let's say, that's secluded with like one of those powered uh, powered speakers, okay. uh, self-powered speakers. So then you can DJ off a phone or an iPad and you don't, yeah, need, an iPad. Yeah, for you don't sure. need a laptop even. Yeah, you don't even yeah. need a laptop. Cool. cool. All right. So thanks for that. Um, we're going to have a little overhead look at the turntables or at the controller now so you can all get a better look at it. And uh, Peter's going to grace us with a little performance, some of his music, and go through some of the live kind of remix and mashup features. So uh, take it away, Peter. Thank you.